Hey guys, it's Camo Kasuba here, and um, today what we're going to be doing is, see that box over there? We're going to shoot that box with this 12 gauge. And I have the box propped up against this tree, and it's like, uh, stapled down to the ground. And so what happens, right, is when I shoot this, luckily the box will not flop over. And that'll be pretty cool, guys. So um, I'm going to send and put you at this view, that way you know I'm just not shooting off the ground or something. I'm, and I'm actually hitting my target. Alright guys, my arms are pretty sore from weightlifting today at school. But, I'm going to aim for the center a box mass. And we're going to give it a rip. Alright. I think I hit it. Do that again. Alright. I hope y'all can even see that. Got one more in the camera and... Alright, that's good. My ears actually, surprisingly, aren't ringing that bad, considering what I just did. I shoot a 12 gauge. Um, I hit the box, like, I know that. Alright, I'm gonna shoot 12, two more before I switch. And this is probably... Alright, now the box decides to fall over. Alright guys, let's wait one second. Okay guys, I have the box relocated to a little bit closer. And now it's broadsided. And keep in mind, I, I, um, I re-stapled it in the ground and crap. And put a post next, and it's next to a post. So, let's give it another hit. Alright. Have a... I'm actually, for this shot, it's going to be a different shell. It's a Mark V. And we're going to see what happens. I actually think that, that the Mark V has a whole lot more kickback than the other shell I'm using. Which is a Remington. It's just like standard bird shot. You know, it's game shot, but I don't, I don't know how it's different. I'm not a professional. All right, guys. Let's do this. Can you? Oh, maybe by the how I'm aiming this, you probably can't even. You probably can't even see if I'm shooting or not. Here, I'm gonna switch the tripod here, just in case all the shots you saw weren't like weren't anything. I'm at my grandma's house right now. That's where it's best to shoot guns at. Everyone knows that. If you shoot guns at your grandma's house, you're well, better off. All right, my tripod almost fell. That's kind of bad. All right, now we're just about ready. Let's get down on even ground. Let's let that car drive by. Now, this view should be a whole lot easier to look at. Got it on. Got it off safe now, and now we're gonna aim, and we're gonna fire. All right, that was beautiful. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. How long has this video gone on? Uh, long enough for me to not care anymore. All right, guys, this is, this is the Mossberg 500. Um, I'm gonna keep on making these gun reviews. I mean, not gun reviews, but just shooting in general. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see me. So I'm gonna keep on making these shooting reviews. I don't know why I keep on saying review. Dang it. Uh, I'm gonna keep on making these just shooting videos. I don't know what else to call them. And, um, hmm, what else? If you haven't already, which you probably have if you're watching this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, like it. And, um, I'm gonna try making maybe a shooting video each week where I'm shooting a different gun. And it might not even be a gun, it might be a bow or a crossbow. And, well, I guess if, uh, hmm, what else do I need to say? Probably absolutely nothing. I'm gonna do more coyote hunting videos. And come April, I'll do some more turkey hunting. And, uh, hmm. Let's think of some more things I can talk about. Hmm, I didn't bring any more shells with me. And I don't want to make, I want to make a little bit longer of a video. Nah. Alright, guys. Subscribe.